Al-Adab al-Mufrid, The Book of Consequences, Chapter on Deliberation in Things. A man from Bali said, I came to visit the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him with my father. He whispered something to my father which I could not hear. I said to my father, What did he say to you? He said, When you desire something, then you must proceed with a measured pace until Allah shows you a way out of it or until Allah makes a way out for you. Muhammad bin al Hanafiya said, Unwise is he who does not deal correctly with a person whose company he cannot avoid until Allah appoints for him a release or a way out. Chapter on One Who Guides in an Alley or on a Path al bara bin Azib said, The Prophet peace be upon him said, Whoever lends something to someone to use or guides down a lane or he said a path, that is the equivalent for him of freeing a slave. Abu Dhar said, You're putting some of the water from your bucket into your brother's bucket is sadaqah. You're commanding good and prohibiting wrong is sadaqah. You're smiling when you meet your brother is sadaqah. You're removing the stones, thorns and bones from people's path is sadaqah. You're guiding a man in a place where there is fear of getting lost is sadaqah. Chapter on One Who Misleads a Blind Person Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Allah curses anyone who misleads a blind person from the path. Chapter on Outrage Ibn Abbas said, While the Prophet peace be upon him was sitting in the courtyard of his house in Mecca, Uthman bin Ma'zun passed by and smiled at him, peace be upon him. The Prophet peace be upon him said to him, Why don't you sit down? He said, Yes. So the Prophet peace be upon him sat facing him. While they conversed, the Prophet peace be upon him stared at the sky and said, A messenger from Allah came to me just now while you were sitting. Uthman asked, What did he say to you? He said, Allah commands justice and doing good and giving to relatives and he forbids indecency, objectionable acts and outrage. He warns you so that you might remember. Quran Surah Al-Nahl Chapter 16 Verse 90 Uthman said, That was the moment belief established itself in my heart and I loved Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Chapter on the Punishment for Outrage Anas said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I will be in the garden with one who brings up two daughters until they come of age like these two. Muhammad bin Abdul Aziz indicated the closeness of his index finger and middle finger, and two categories of punishment are quickly reached in this world, outrage and cutting off relatives. Chapter on Noble Descent Abu Huraira said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The noble son of the noble son of the noble son of the noble one was Yusuf ibn Yaqub ibn Ishaq ibn Ibrahim, peace be upon them. Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Those near me on the day of rising will be those who are fearfully conscious of Allah, even if one lineage is closer than another. It should not be that some people come to me with their good actions, while you, meaning the Quraysh, his own people by lineage come with only worldliness and call me Muhammad. I will say no, making the gesture of turning his face away. Ibn Abbas said, I do not know anyone who acts by this verse. O people, we created you male and female. We made you tribes and people so that you might distinguish one another. The noblest among you is the one with the most taqwa, fearful consciousness. Quran, Surah al hujurat chapter 49, verse 13. A man says to another man, I am more noble than you. No one is nobler than another person except by taqwa of Allah. Ibn Abbas said, What do you think nobility is? Allah has made nobility clear. The noblest of you in the sight of Allah is the one with the greatest taqwa. What do you think lineage is? The best of you in lineage is the best of you in character. Chapter on the Arva Spirits are a unified army. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, I heard the Prophet, peace be upon him, say, The souls are like recruited troops. Those who are of like qualities are inclined to each other, but those of dissimilar qualities differ. Abu Huraira reported that the Messenger of Allah, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, The spirits are massed armies. Those of them that knew one another are friendly. Those that did not know one another disagree. Chapter on a man saying, Subhanallah, glory be to Allah when he is amazed. Abu Huraira said, I heard the Prophet peace be upon him say, While a shepherd was herding his sheep, a wolf came and took one of the sheep. The shepherd went after the wolf which turned to him and said, 
Who will look after them on the day of wild beasts? They will have no shepherd but me. People said, Subhanallah, glory be to Allah. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, I believe it, I and Abu Bakr and Umar. Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, was in a funeral procession and he took something and began to scratch the ground with it. He said, There is not one but has his place written for him, either in the fire or in the garden. They said, Messenger of Allah, then should we not rely on our book and leave action? He said, Act. It is easy for someone to do something for which he was created. He further said, As for someone who is among the people of happiness, it is easy for him to do the actions of happiness. As for someone who is one of the people of wretchedness, it is easy for him to do the actions of wretchedness. Then he recited, As for the one who gives and is fearful and conscious of Allah and confirms the good. Quran, Surah Al-Lal, Chapter 92, Verses 5-10 to Chapter on Wiping the Ground with the Hand Usaid bin Abu Usaid narrated from his mother who said, I said to Abu Qatada, Why don't you narrate from the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, as other people narrate from him? Abu Qatada said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, Whoever attributes anything false to me paves the way for himself to a bed in the fire. When the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said that, he began to wipe his hand on the ground. Chapter on Slings Abdullah bin Mughaffal al-Muzani said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, forbade slings. He said, They do not kill game nor injure the enemy. They only gouge the eye and break the teeth. Chapter on Do Not Curse the Wind Thabit bin Qas said, Abu Huraira said, A fierce wind blew on the people on the road to Mecca while Umar was making the Hajj. Umar said to those around him, What is the wind? They did not give any answer. I urged my camel forward. I caught up with him and said, I have heard that you asked about the wind. I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, The wind, ri, is from the spirit, ru, of Allah. It brings mercy and it brings punishment. Do not curse it. Ask Allah for the good in it and seek refuge from its evil. <laughs>